Yo, what is up, guys? Thank you for tuning in to this podcast episode. It's a very special episode. Um, I'm actually celebrating my one-year anniversary, and I have a special guest with me to help me celebrate tonight or today, um, Jason Alamillo. Coming up on today's episode, what we're going to be talking about with Jason is sports controversies, sports rules, um, you know, because there are a lot of uh, sports rules that many fans like myself, and I guarantee you Jason uh, doesn't agree with certain sports rules. Of course, some sports controversies, we're going to be talking, um, you know, Trevor Bauer, uh, he covers baseball, so he'll have more info on that. Of course, you follow me on, on my channel where I talk about Florentino Perez. Um, we're going to be discussing the controversy about him um, with that leak audio tape along with Dan Snyder and his situation with um, switching his ownership over to his wife. So it's going to be a fun episode. Like I said, I have never done this, never spoke controversies. I've, you know, strayed away from, from talking controversies on my channel, but I found the right guy to do it with, Jason. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get started. First and foremost, Jason, thank you for joining me. How are you today? What's up, Pascal? Celebration. Celebrate. You know, you don't have sound effects, and neither do I. So, <laughs> what's up, Oscar? Thanks for having me, man. And uh, I, I just celebrated my one year, and Oscar was a part of mine, so figured I'd return the solid. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm excited. The the only difference was that I was your your last appearance. I think I actually concluded your so, your show. And I think you're the first one on my show because there's I'm going to do a lot of things. I'm going to have another guest, hopefully trying to lock that down. And then, of course, uh, I'm going to take a page out of your playbook, which is talk about, you know, memorable moments on my channel and stuff like that. Uh, I just got to get those stuff that that stuff together because it's a lot. You know, I've, I've been uh -huh. through, you know, I the way that I presented my content is not the same when I started. Um, you know, I, at first I sounded like I was out of it, like I didn't know what you know, what the heck I was talking about. Um, <laughs> so unsure of myself. I will definitely, you know, go, go check my earlier stuff. I started July 28th. So go, you know, one year back and then, you know, look at my recent stuff now. So um, let's go ahead. Um, how have you been? How's your channel been? I know that you've, you know, you're, you're a politics guy, but of course, um, yeah. you know, you've been covering more sports, you know, as time gone on. And of course, um, we're going to be talking about Trevor Bauer later, but um, let's let's talk about your channel for for a quick second, so that way we can segue into the topics. Yeah, yeah, no, um, thanks. So uh, the chat is going okay. Um, unfortunately, you guys helped Oscar, you sons of bitches, um, <laughs> in views and subscriptions. Well, I, I knew that was going to happen. I mean, literally, who would watch a political channel over a sports channel? I wouldn't. I, and I'm saying that as a politics geek. Even I wouldn't. Um, but Oscar is uh, in trouble because last time I looked, I was like at 5,700 something. And I know that's not a lot of you. I know you're at 6,200, almost 300. But to, to other YouTubers, they're like, oh, that's on one video. But we're still new. Um, it hasn't seen the growth that I wanted it to in the last year, but hopefully we can change that with new changes coming up. Um, you know, I got a new playlist for interviews coming up. So, uh, and, and I'm debating on, so on the regular channel, it's going to be the, the videos, the individual clips, and then the full interview in its entirety. But on the playlist interviews, it's just going to be the, the full interviews in their entireties, not the individual clips. And, um, you know, it's it's doing pretty good. Um, you're right. The sports ones have gotten me a lot of views, specifically Trevor Bauer, which we're going to talk about awesomely. Um, and um, yeah, that's a cat, if you could hear that. Um, but yeah, that that's kind of what's going on with my channel. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my accomplishments, I remember you were ahead of me for a good amount of time. I think it was like seven months, seven or eight months that you, you had, you know, you were you know, over me with views. I think it took me a long, it actually took me a long time to surpass you in subscribers. I remember um, you were at like 
12, 12 subscribers when I was still at like five or six. And I was like, I'm never, this guy's going to leave me in the dust. But somehow I surpassed nah. him subscribers. Somehow don't, I don't. And, and I remember you kept on bragging about it. You're like, you're never going to surpass me in views. And I surpassed you in views. But, um, yeah, but guess what? You're yeah, suffering right now, Oscar. Yeah, I know. I took some days. Off. I took some days off, and you took you. You took. A yeah, that hurt you, Oscar, and helped me, Oscar. Off. Hey, man, when you get your cable taken away from you, and then of course you know you go ah! on vacation. That's expected. That's listen. That's not up to me. When I was on vacation, I still managed to at least record a couple videos. Okay, so let, let's not go there. I was in Mexico, uploading in Mexico. You, you're not gonna go there. And and I listen, ladies and gentlemen. My videos, I didn't think I was gonna get 200 views on one and 80 on the other. And Tony, Oscar is just struggling. So whatever you can do, help me out of my channel. Don't help him. Man, I'm blaming um, the euros. I'm blaming the euros. I didn't get many views on the euros. Sure, Oscar, blame someone else for your lack of views. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just ecstatic that I'm catching up, Oscar. If if you let a political channel with a loud mouth idiot blind youtuber screaming into a mic catch up to you i honestly dude i will take down your channel because oh my god that would be embarrassing whatever whatever i'm i'm excited for my for year two on my channel let's let's see how i do in year two year one not i'm I'm excited year one not that bad year two we'll have to wait and see i'm thinking of how can i change up the way that i you know present my content i know that i'm probably going to change up my banner image um you know uh you know changes are coming for for the banner image and i won't spoil the fun yet because like i said there's there's a surprise for that um i'm just waiting for some stuff to come in you're gonna have a dial of like me catching up to your views and like you know you're running away as the end whatever (laughs) <laughs> but no, I'm excited about year two, man. It's, it's, um, you know, you went solo from no nonsense and your channel's grown spectacularly. I'm proud of you, man. You, you really, um, I mean, you, you, um, you kind of went with my expectations. I knew you, you would leave me in the dust. I knew it. Now, what I didn't know was that I would catch up to you in views. I'm still obsessed about that, but you know, you got 53 subscribers in a year. You got six thousand two hundred and something views in the uh, in the year as well, um, and so and and you have thumbnails and you have um, you know a banner image and you know you've been going on with uh, a, a fellow uh, Washington fan of yours, um, Ed Oliver, and it's been it's been really helpful to you um, for your channel. So I mean. Congratulations, man! It's it's been it's been a trip to watch you, and um, you know, it, it's it's been it's been fun catching up to you too. From at least for me, you haven't caught up to me yet, Oscar. By the way, your views are going right now. Don't don't okay. don't, uh, don't 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 count your eggs before they're hatched, man. Don't underestimate me, Oscar. <laughs> when I'm full of soda and marshmallows. I like how you, I like how you say marshmallows. Who eats? Okay, who eats marshmallows just like that? I don't. I mean, come on, they're so effing good. Whatever. Anyway, they're so good. I agree with you there. You ever had them them, s'mores? That's what I'm saying. Why would you have them by themselves when you can be? You can explore. You you know you can you know put them in something like you can. Um, I know that you know I've made Jello with. Oh wait, can you eat? Do you eat Jello or? No. Yeah. Yeah. I I remember I had a a Jello dessert. It had marshmallows. That's actually pretty. It was actually pretty good. I was a kid back then. Uh, I haven't had it since. Well, usually, like if I have pie, like you know, we get pie from our calendars. We do. I'll get like the pie, and I'll put like some whipped cream. I'll put a little bit of sauce, like the chocolate sauce, on it, or like some kind of other topping, and then marshmallows, but not the big marshmallows, the little marshmallows. Or what if this was like fall winter i would do like you know hot chocolate and get the freaking marshmallows and just throw them in and- okay me personally though is it just me though i me personally i like mini marshmallows like i prefer mini marshmallows i will eat the big ones but for some reason when i eat the big ones it just feels off in my opinion 
Well, you like big things in your mouth. Oh! Um, Dang. <laughs> um, no, I mean, <laughs> well, with marshmallows, I feel like with big marshmallows, you can eat like maybe two or three, a couple, and they're so big that you, I feel satisfied. I'm like, hey, I'm good for now. I don't need to eat more for like a couple hours. And I feel like satisfied, right? Or as many marshmallows, I got to stand there for like 10 minutes just to feel satisfied and have like three at a time because it's like, they're so small and like, you know, I don't know. Oh boy. Well, I'm talking about food, where's not even when we need them oh, to, to, to settle disputes. And anyway, to settle food right. disputes. That's right. Mm. Um. So let's de- let's 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 start with uh, sports talk a little. Like like I said, this is not um, when I had you on my channel before. You know, we were going back and forth with Washington and Dallas. You know, it's well documented um, what we were talking when we were would talk Dallas and and Washington. But we were to talk more in depth. Best about- memory ever. Nineteen ninety nine. Best memory ever. I guess. Um, we're gonna. For me. We're we're gonna be discussing controversies, um. So, I don't know, um. And I've and I've followed you on hockey. I I I don't think you touched on it as much, um. But what I notice about sports and the rules that they set, and this is what I I'm gonna compare, um, hockey and soccer for a second. Okay. So, because the Euros just ended, and me personally. Yeah. When it comes to the knockout stages of, oh. of, of soccer, they, what they do is 30 minutes of extra time. And then if, you know, whoever, if they don't score any goals or if, you know, no one takes the lead within those 30 minutes, then they go to penalty shootout. I don't like that. I, I honestly don't. I think that that's more risk for, you know, players getting injured, players getting tired. I like, I guess, explain it more because I may have misunderstood it. But the way that I understand it in hockey is it's like a certain – what was it? I think it's like, what, five, like ten minutes of overtime, and then whoever scores, the game is over. And then if they don't score within that, that time period, it's, um, you know, a shootout. That's what I miss about – that's what I want with soccer now because, again, soccer is exciting, but when you get players – when players are tired and they're like, you just want to get out of here and go, you know, either go home or – or leave or, or move on to the next stage. What, what are your thoughts on that? Cause me, I, I was noticing it with the Euros. cause don't get me wrong. There were some entertaining um, games like Spain and um, what was it? I think it was like Spain and Croatia and France and yeah. Switzerland. Those were the entertaining overtime games. Cause it was actually dramatic, but the majority of them, they were just tired. The players were tired they didn't get anything done. I was like, I was literally sitting there. I actually took a nap while watching. Oh, yeah. I remember you texted me that. I took a nap well, during I, one of the games where I was like, this is so boring. Like, I was just waiting for the penalty shootout. So, what, what are your thoughts on how um, overtime rules between, you know, sports could, could improve? You know, do they need to change? You know, what are your thoughts? Well, yeah, so I have a lot to say, and I'll try and cons- uh, you know, summarize it so oh, your, your podcast isn't like eight hours long like one of mine was the other day, uh, last week. Um, so, yeah, I, what was it that Italy game they had won? I was like, last week. Oh, my God, I don't remember who Italy, they knocked out before Italy, they got Spain. here. Italy Spain. Italy, Spain. I was watching that game, and I remember, I think I texted you. I was like, that was an awesome game. It was a good game, right? It was super good. I was like, whoa, holy, right? I was like, damn. And Oscar farted. Um, but <laughs> in, in terms of the, the penalty shot, so yeah, the way it works in hockey in the regular season, it's five minutes of overtime. The person who scores, the first team that scores wins automatically. That's it, no more. If it's five minutes nobody has scored it goes to penalty shots it's five uh five goals so the first team to get to three wins the game 
if no team gets to three, which is kind of rare, honestly, because usually it happens, um, it goes to a second overtime, and then it's like seven, eight goals, something like that. And you have to win four or five, something. It's it's weird, four or five, something like that. Um, and I don't know the way it works in soccer, but the way it works in hockey is you have um, you have a like for example, ladies and gentlemen, Chandler Stevenson. I'm just using the Knights. So let's say they're playing the Capitals, and who's the Capitals goalie? I don't know. Let's use um, um, I don't know, Carey Price. Oh, fucking Canadians beat my Knights. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Oh boy. <laughs> um, don't ban Oscar. <laughs> um, uh, by, the way, by the way, thank you for pay for for raising my for giving me a pay raise. <laughs> pay raise. Yeah, oh. I remember. <laughs> That's right. So the um, well, let's use the the goalie from from uh, the guys who beat them, the Tampa Bay Lightning, uh, Valzenski, I think it is. So what happens is you you go and you try and shoot into the net of the the goalie, and he just has to defend it. So it's not like uh, you know anyone else is out there. It's you on center ice with the goalie behind his net, ready to block you. And if you, right, so you know, my knights have not done great. Robin Leonard, I was proud of him when he he um was like two and one or something like that in the season. In the postseason, the way the pen, the way the overtimes work is, um, it's uh twenty minutes of overtime, and you went. So let's say so my knights were tied with the wild one to one. No, uh, no zero zero. And then um, it, the, you actually have a 15-minute intermission. In the regular season, it's just like commercial break, boom, let's get it. Let's go. Let's get it going. But in the postseason, you got a 15-minute intermission just like the regular season where you have 15-minute intermissions between periods. And then, um, you know, then what happens is the first person that scores wins. And there was another rule I can't remember, no offsides or something like that. And then <laughs> – and then it goes to overtime a second overtime and then i think it go it would go to a penalty shot i think in terms of the rules the main thing i'm worried about and i think this is in all sports is the refs and i know oh is it a couple maybe two or three seasons ago in basketball we were watching the games and all the refs were making stupid ass calls and it was like even the m the the the, um, the, the N- NBA, I was about to say NFB, but N- NBA had to kind of like redo the refs because it was like, what the fuck are they doing? So I think, I don't know how it is with soccer, you know, because you have the yellow flags and all of that. But with ours, I mean, like, for example, against, um, I think it was Colorado when Mikko Ratnan had scored that goal in game three three game two i think it was he had scored it in overtime but it was because of a power play that was called by the refs even though it was a cheap shot i think that we need to avoid stupid calls um i'm not sure what rule i kind of don't like in hockey um but i do think we need to fix the refs up a little bit because they're you know you've got pushing and shoving and high sticks and it really depends if you get chris lee or or anyone else, Chris Lee is one of the worst refs ever. In fact, he was so bad that both the Knights and the um, – was it Canada? Yeah, it was Canada, I think, had said, no, we don't want him again. So he went and coached the Islanders and or, or a ref the uh, Islanders and um, Tampa game. I, I'm probably getting it wrong. But he – so I think the refs definitely need to be – it because it, it really depends, right? Like I said, some might call high sticks, some might call pushing, some might some might call tripping and shoving. Others might not even call half those. You're like, why are there no whistles? Because they ain't doing it. And so, it's it's stupid. Uh, I think that needs to change. No. So are you are you pro are you pro or against video replay? Because I I really this whole entire because American football and soccer um, have this. And I think that video replay is ridiculous in my opinion because you have to 
this is what I don't like about video replay is that you have to, what they do is they have like an extra official in like, in a, um, like use a, like camera and they have to go angle by angle by angle. My thing is one angle shows you one thing. Another angle shows you another thing. And then you go to a third angle and it shows, that's what I don't like about video replay. So are you like saying that, cause you know, you're saying that, you know, refs can cost us a game, but also video replay, because I remember in certain um, videos of mine where I, you know, with Real Madrid, and I don't know if I was, you know, if I showed that I was pissed or not, but I was very upset with one of the games where the, the refs really cost Real Madrid uh, a game that they sh- honestly, you know, could have won if it wasn't for video replay and the refs. Um, so are you for, you know, video replay or do you think that, you know, this should just, you know, clean house and find a different way to referee games is, is what I'm asking. Cause from what I'm hearing is that, you know, you're saying that you want to clean, you know, they need to get better refs, but video replay is also a thing with certain sports. I don't know about basketball and I don't know about baseball after the whole entire, uh, situation with, oh i have with, shit to say the, about that too <laughs> with the astros but um do you think that video replay could, is that substitute or do you think that video replay should you know also get be <laughs> getting you know they should you know get rid of it too because i think me personally video replay ru- ruins the game ruins the vibe it does but let me be clear more clear on that let me clarify i think what i mean is they need to be taught the rules and say, look, if there's pushing, if there's shoving, you can't just like not call that. And, and look, I would hate if, if there was pushing by John and Marcia, though, or, 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 you know, I don't know, uh, Eric Collar, who's in the past, or even Nick Holden, and then they called it, or William Carlson, or William Carrier. But it's a call to penalty for a reason, right? And I would, I would hope that our defense is good enough on the power play, which it wasn't. But neither was our offense. It was shitty. It sucked. But I think with video replay, it's, it's like a double-edged sword, right? You know, it's like damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, on, like, for example, uh, Pete DeBoer was able to challenge two or three out of uh, Canada's goals. Or, or, or um, not Canada. Minnesota's goals, I think. So, and it was because of video replays that they went, yeah, that was offside. By millimeters! By literal millimeters! One or two millimeters, he was like, literally half of a millimeter, it was offside. Had he hit it another way, it would have been a goal. Oh, yeah. Well, that, was able to... Yeah, that's something that, that soccer has, too, that by, like, I think it's, like, either by, like, centimeters or millimeters, and then they have to review that, and they say, oh, no, it's offside. Like, that's, that's what I don't like, that they have to go to the, to the video replay. Yeah. I mean, I think they're important in that, when there is a goal to be challenged or there is a shoving match or there is a certain, why is my, something's talking and I, let me check if it's my Mac. Hold on. Yeah. Well, someone hear, was talking. I don't, I don't hear it. Anymore. Oh, it was my iPad. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't hear it on my end. Um, yeah. So, cause things, people are calling me, but I think, you know, you know, on the, on the um, replays, it's a double-edged sword, right? It can help you. Hey, that was offside. That was more towards the post, not the net, not this and that, right? But it can also hurt because I remember literal games where I think it was Joe Pawlowski or I forget what his name is um, from the Sharks had fallen and hit his head on the ice from the Sharks. And he, no, they didn't push him, but nobody pushed him. But they penalized the goddamn Knights. I'm getting angry. And the they literally gave a five-minute power play to the Sharks. And the Knights, again, a power play, as uh, like as special teams, it's a penalty. You have a man advantage, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think you have that in soccer and I think in football too. Right? Uh... Where you have like, like a four-on-three or a five-on-three. Football, no, and I think soccer, when it comes to penalty, it's a goal shot where it's the person that will take the penalty against the goalkeeper. 
Yeah, so that's kind of like goalball where it's, and that's a sport for the blind where you have a person. Oh, you know what? For what probably it is, it's probably like our version of a free. You know, so in soccer, it's probably like a free kick where I think like you can have like a free kick. Like you have the the guy that's gonna take the free kick, but then in the vicinity, you also have two or three other players. Like like flo- like flocking him or fl- you know whatever the you know whatever the yeah. word is, um, yeah. So that way you know if the ball gets tipped in the air, then they can either kick it in or use their head to you know headbutt it. In. <laughs> that hurts. Um, and then they but, can get a goal that way. You know that's that's the yeah. best thing that I could think of. Um, yeah. Well, here it's a, a you know a, a, you know a, a, a man advantage, right? More more men on the ice. So. And the other team. So they couldn't defend at all. And it was an unfair power play. And they were showing the video replays. And even the commentators were like, well, he just fell. It doesn't look like anybody. There were people around him, but it doesn't look like anybody tripped him. Well, turns out when the officials called it, they went to the Sharks bench and said, well, we didn't even see it. So, again, that's where refs are biased. Right. And, you know, there's this whole thing that in Vegas, everyone thinks the refs hate us because they fucking do. Oh, boy, you're going to get banned. I swear to God. Um, <laughs> you're going to get censored because of me. <laughs> but well, that's, that's um, how, that's I think replays, views, right? again, if, they, they, if, if you ban me, if they ban me because of you, that's how you're going to get more views. Because That's right. I, I I'm mean, trying I, everything I, I fucking can. Oh, wait. I, I mean, I mean, YouTube joke. That's like right. <laughs> YouTube jail. I still love that. I send you there. Um, but so the the main thing I think video replays to get to get to your question. They're a double edged sword for me. I think it's a difficult thing to say because again, it really depends on your ref and what they really decide. And I think this is in all sports. It really is in all sports. I remember there was this moment when the Cubs were playing the Dodgers in 2018 or 2017, and the Dodgers are somehow – there was a base hit or something like that, and usually you have the umpire whatever, the guy by first base who would normally hear it. Then you have the guy behind, like third base or whatever, who normally doesn't hear it. He's not in earshot. He can overrule that the main guy, but typically – when that main guy is in earshot, it goes through. Well, he over the other guy overruled him, and it was like, "What?" As a Dodger fan, I was like, "Yeah," but as a as a general fan, I was like, "Oh yeah, that's not good. right." Um, so I think, and you're right, the video replay, it's a double edged sword. I like the different angles. Of coverage because it the ref again the ref biases or the umpire biases that really hurt people it's uh, the video replays i don't think are what hurt people it hurts you if you did score a goal you thought you scored a goal and then all of a sudden oh no it was offside oh no it was deflected oh no it went in his pad but he like stopped it or whatever right and another rule by the way that I should change so cody bellinger in baseball i know i'm gonna bore you for like 30 seconds he hits a bet. What we call them belly bumps. It's a home run, right? By the way, the, the reason why he's saying that is because I think that baseball is a boring sport. Anyways, go on. Well, you know, Oscar's <laughs> first videos were boring. Oh, damn. Anyway, I don't know if you heard what I said. Yeah, I heard. I said that. Oscar's. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just had to put that out there. I have to defend my game. Anyway, so he hits the home run. He starts running to one of the bases. But Justin Turner starts passing him, and because of that, it's something like that, that rule says, well, no, it's not a run. It was a dumb rule nobody knew about until it was a controversy, and the, the umps called it. Um, and if we can talk about the sticky situation, that would be nice. Um, but so, again, uh, to end this, video replay, it's a double-edged sword. I think it's ref biases, right? I think the main thing that needs to take place is what do the – if you could take – if there's five angles that you're taking, what do three out of five say? What do four out of five say? Yeah, I think that's the I way it should be. That. I think, yeah. right? And and the again, the ref biases. It it really has to be stressed that that exists. And and I mean, I saw it in in Tampa versus Islanders. There were certain things that the Islanders would do, and I'd go, 
mm, you know, I don't know. Right? So. No, nah, because the reason why, you know what's funny? The reason why England made it to, to the finals of the, champ, of, the, of the Champions League, same, same company, different, different tournament. Uh, the Rio's. Um, the Euros. Yeah. Um, My bad. Was because a penalty that, you know, the, the ref awarded them. And a lot of, you know, the analysts, uh, you know, different commentators were saying, oh, it's not a penalty because there was no contact. That's what I think. That, that's where I think the angles need to come in handy, you know, find the different angle. And if the majority say it is a penalty, then it is a penalty. If it says it's not, it's not. Like, because England – Shouldn't have won that game against against Denmark. No, they really shouldn't. Uh-uh. Have. Denmark was kicking their ass. Denmark, I thought had good control because I watched that game because my family loves soccer, so I watched that and and I thought mm. it, it. I don't know much about soccer, but it felt off. And I called a couple of friends who love soccer besides you, and I were like, "Yeah, that was no penalty. That was no effing penalty." But that's the same thing. Here's where I think the replays also need help. Don't just look at the replay for like a second. And then well, I guess that's it. Take your There's time. various angles. Take a look at it. That's why they exist. There's refs that are like, ah, they'll look at an angle for like 30 seconds. And it's like, and we also decision. And that's fine. Cause then you have like altered decisions, but it's like, really? And then they go, they go to like, for us, they go to Toronto. Because they, uh, Canada is like main thing of hockey, whatever. Uh, and what they do is they'll say, okay, well, yeah, it looks like it. So again, I, I and that happens in the playoffs because obviously you need in, in the playoffs, they need to take extra time to look at the angle. Some refs just rush through it. And again, something there because there was no contact in that game. Yeah. And if they would have kept it up, they would have known that. They would have kept looking. Well, oh, great. I hate how my internet's always back and forth. You're still good, man. I can still oh. hear you. Okay, yeah, because um, my apparently I got a notification here saying that my internet connection is unstable. So, um, I mean, I mean, video replays, yeah. Um, my thing is video replays is one thing. And of course we got to We, I don't think we answered the question of the overtime and the extra time. Cause here's the thing, another, you know, there were a few games, um, you know, that caught my attention. Like, I think it was the Spain Croatia match where Spain within like the first five minutes of the extra time period, um, score two goals. And then Croatia, because they were so tired, they couldn't get, you know, anything in. You know, they, they were tired. So I think that – because I was talking to my cousin about it. I was like, why do they – because sitting there for 30 minutes, if you're, if you're still, you know, tied at the end of the – you know, at the end of even 15 minutes. Because I told my cousin I would rather see a 15-minute overtime period um, go down rather than a full 30 – 30 minutes, because if it's 15 minutes, you know, that's fine. If anything, if nothing doesn't happen, because that's how American football used to be. American football used to be 15 minutes, extra time or overtime. Um, you know, whoever scores first wins, you know, so, you know, and that'll end it. Soccer, it's 15 minutes, then you take a break, and then an extra 15 minutes, and then, you know, if, and if no one, you know, has the lead by then – then it's penalties. That just, you know, it's a snooze fest sometimes because, like I said, Croatia and Spain and then France, Switzerland were the only games that I could have said that were actually entertaining overtime games. Aside from that, all, all the rest of the, 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 the overtime periods were snooze fests. I, I actually I fell asleep, and then I was like, all right, I'm just waiting for the penalties to, to come around. So that's why Wait, I think so- it- Go ahead. Is, is, it, is it like, yeah, so, so I, because I don't really know. So in the first 15 minutes, if I score for my team, is it over? Nope. What? They have, they have to what play the full, that? they have to play the full 30 minutes of extra time. Really? No yeah, way. That, that, that's why, that's why I'm, that's why I'm against that. Cause 
you you're the the team can get exhausted and even stupider is that they only give you so in soccer they give you at least they changed this somewhat in in the world of soccer after the pandemic last year because i remember for the longest time in soccer you have three you can make three up to three substitutions i think because of um the pandemic and trying to keep you know players uh, so you know somewhat healthy they upped it to five five substitutions per game but in the tournament like in in the euros they were like oh yeah you have your five substitutions and an extra time um you have to you only get one extra substitution but if your player gets hurt if more get, more players get hurt then you're down one man you have to you know face with the people that you got that's why i don't like that because uh, it's sour you know you're you're on at a, a disadvantage if you yeah. if you mismanage yeah. your your substitutions just like england did but that's another story uh. so basically it's um it's basically a self-imposed penalty is or, or like that's what it sounds like oh you imposed a penalty on yourself you guys were hurt i think you know on one hand, it's like, no, the guy should, whoever scores in the first two minutes of the game, I don't know, the 30 minutes, five, six, 30, 13 Again, minutes, fi- 15 I'm minutes, fi- I'm whoever scores then wins. I'm, I'm fine with 15. But, yeah, but, but what I'm saying is, like, whoever scores first should win. Yeah, exactly. On the other hand, let's say you've got a really good, let's say your, 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 your guy, your coach switches up the positions. Like, if Pete DeBoer were to switch the lines and put, Pacioretty, Carlson, and, and Petrangelo in there, I'd be like, oh, we got a chance, man. Now, I'll tell you this much. The forwards did absolute jack shit. They didn't do jack shit. I'm trying to get you banned. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but they didn't do anything. It was the defense that was scoring. The defense. Braden McNabb, Nick Holder, all the- they were scoring. Not the guys who are hot, who are normally so good at scoring goals. Opponents have a tough time against the goalies. Literally, Mark Stone had no points, like no assists, and no goals. Pacioretty had like one or two. Tuck, Alex Tuck had the most goals. And so, you know, that's, that's where I'm mad. But I think if, if you're a team that's down and you get scored on in overtime, you're, you're still holding on for hope. But if your team is showing fatigue, tiredness, or even if they're not as tired, but they're just showing lack of energy, lack of passion, and they're not trying to go for the ball, they're not trying to break ankles, they're not trying to do anything, I, they're not trying to head for the goal, then I would be like, okay, please end this. Because that's another fan's misery. Is like, okay, well, they're not going to answer back. Because the goal is to answer back. But then again, you have another problem, which is, all right, I score. And then your team scores, Oscar. Now we're effing tied again. Someone else has to score or we go to penalties. It just draws out the game. Yeah, it draws it, really, it out. Yeah, it really does. Because like I said, that's... Um, so so Croatia, it's good and bad. Yeah, it's, it's good, good and bad. Spain, Because like I said, Spain, Croatia, it was entertaining. But then after the first five minutes after Spain scored, like two straight goals in the, in the overtime period, Croatia just showed lack of interest. Like, they were just too tired. I was like, I'm like, all right, can someone just blow this whistle? My cousin was not happy throughout the tournament because I guess, like, so my cousin and I, we're Madrid fans. I honestly don't care when it comes to the international teams, um, you know, managers or whatever, but apparently the manager of the Spain team was a former Barcelona manager from, like, five years ago. And my cousin was like, was keep on telling me, he's like, I hope Spain loses. I was like, why? And he was like, I just don't like he's a former Barcelona. Man, can you still hear me? Yeah, yeah, you're you're cutting out a bit, but yeah. Again, my wife. I don't know if you want to pause it and then. Go, I don't know if you want to pause it and then go do your fix it, but. Um, I don't remember how to pause it, but. <laughs> um. No, I. I. It. It is annoying. Um. It, it is very annoying. Um, just that, that, that Croatia game was just crazy. Um, and I feel like that sometimes when the Knights are just playing abysmally, I'm like, dude, can you just call the, just call the game already? It's yeah. just not there for the Knights tonight. But especially when it comes – I don't like when teams just choke in the playoffs, man. 
That's why I, what did I say in the night's coverage that I did? Fix the goddamn power play. Fix it. I mean, come on. Everyone's like, Jason, you're being too negative about the power play. Just never... Guys, the power play can make or break them. Did you know that I, th- I think Canada had blocked like 27 to 30 um, of their power plays in the postseason? It was something like that, yeah. It was, it, it was the most, I think, in history. In hockey history, they were so good. And the Knights, not only could they not defend it as much, weren't but they, they like, couldn't even make a dent. Yeah, weren't they, they like make the a bottom, dent. weren't they like the, the bottom defending the power play or something? I think you, you said that. Uh, yeah, oh, in the, it, yeah, in the post playoffs, in the postseason, yes. But in the in the in the regular season, they were like twenty something in oh no, seventeen in 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 power plays. And I was like, that's horrible. Because and that's fine because sometimes you can have a team that's great at power plays and then terrible at power plays in the playoffs. Or you have it the reverse, terrible during the regular season and somehow it clicks in the, in the postseason and they're amazing, right? Mm-hmm. But sometimes I'm like, oh, my God, man. Just the night when I was saying the Knights have to fix their power play, everyone said, ah, Jason, come on. Literally even there's a channel called The Hockey Guy. I said it. He said it. The power play was one of the main prime reasons primary reasons why the Knights lost. Had they even scored on two power plays, that could have changed game three. That could have changed, right? That could have changed even game two. It could have done something. Could have done wonders. But, yeah, I mean, I think with soccer, they just I, – I do agree with the 15 minutes. On one hand, I love that they don't end it right as the person scores because it gives the other team a chance. But, yeah. again, it's it's double-edged sword. It's good and bad. Yeah. Well, apparently, according to my cousin, it used to be like that. Like they they used to call it the the um, gol de oro, which translates to golden goal or something like that. Where you know first first team to score wins, but I guess they changed it because that's that's the only model that I've known since I've watched soccer is thirty minutes of extra time. After that, you know if you know if they're still tied somehow, then it's penalties. And I've been you know. This year, I noticed it more with, with Euros that because most of the players were just tired. I was like, with, with, the, with uh, the overtime. But um, that will do it for some rules and regulations and all that other controversy. Let's talk about personnel controversy. Oh, boy. Um, so if for people that don't know, Jason is a – Fan of the most boring sport in the world. My Your opinion. channel? No. Oh! Oh, baby, let me drink a Coke to that. Oh. Just kidding. Look, when you make fun of baseball, I gotta hit you back. Anyway, keep going. Anyway, so he he's a, a he's a Los <laughs> Angeles Dodger fan. Like I said, oh boy. I, I really can't cover I really can't cover baseball for all I'm worth. I remember I covered a baseball segment and it was just the most miserable video of my life. Anyways, um <laughs> to my he, to my joy. He, um he uh he's been keeping up with uh, Tre- uh Trevor Bauer controversy. I know that I, I've kept tabs on your videos, but in a nutshell, and I know I I don't want and that's why I say in a nutshell. Give us a recap of what's going on, and then we'll, you know, we'll we'll discuss thoughts. You know, I'll I'll also discuss some similarities with, you know, controversies within soccer and American football, of course. So, um, you have the floor to talk about Trevor Bauer here. Uh oh. In a nutshell, so I was kind of looking back at my videos just to figure this out. So, uh, and we're gonna get to the sticky stuff situation, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Um, besides the sticky stuff situation, so we think Actually, the MLB is after him. Well, before we act, what is the sticky stuff situation? Okay, so let's do that first. So, essentially, all round pitchers, Clayton Kershaw, or um, you know, uh, uh, Walker Bueller, Trevor Bauer. When they have the ball in their hands, there's a type of grip that it has. Well, before every game, what they do with all the baseballs is they put them in mud, and then they take the, the baseballs out and throw them in the bucket. You know, where the problem with mud is it, it doesn't stick, right? Because the mm-hmm. goal is to make the balls a little 
stickier, not sticky, but just to have a more firm grip, like so that they can grab it better. So the mud, you know how mud is, it comes off. Yeah. It slides off, maybe, well, most times, pretty much. And so it sinks to the bottom of the balls, to the right, right? So what players do is they use substances. They're not performance-enhancing drugs, but they're, you know, whatever it is, they put it on their glove or in their glove or on top of their glove or on the ball, whatever it is, so that they can perf- um, carefully grip the ball and to the best of their ability because, you know, they're throwing at 95, 98, and 100 hours an hour. Even 106 is the highest I've ever seen. So, and they're throwing curveball sliders, cutters, their spin rates and all of that. And so, uh, breaking balls. And so, essentially, what the MLB was worried about is, well, we're worried about the fact that they're doing this and it's causing a bunch of no hitters, which in baseball, that means no base hits, no home runs, no nothing. And that's, that's a nice feat for a pitcher. And so, what Ken Rosenthal did was, he put out this article saying, oh, my God, the MLB's after Trevor Bauer for sticky stuff. And Trevor Bauer's a bit of a controversial figure. He's a bit of a distraction because he has his own blog. And he's not hot-headed, but he's cocky a little bit. And he, he speaks out when he wants to. And, and he, so he's a bit like me, but it's annoying. But so they, they decide to come after him. Then they release some stupid-ass rules that umpires can now – if they suspect that you have sticky stuff, they can walk up to you and make you take off your glove and check your hands. Well, a lot of pitchers sweat like a mother, right? And that's, yeah. mm-hmm. that's normal. But the umpire can decide, well, I can eject you from the game. And they're now taking the balls and studying them for, for sticky stuff. So they made up some rules where um, it was just so unfair and the balls aren't as easy to grip. And so pitchers, a lot of teams have been losing games because of the new grip. And Trevor Bauer came out against it and said, no, this is exactly how. And he gave baseball mechanics, like literal mechanics. I can't even explain it. That's how good it was. He literally made Rob Manfred the commissioner, who's a piece of shit. Suck a dick, Rob Manfred. Um, I think, I think every going to get you banned. I think, um, I, I, think, I, I, think every league, I think every league commissioner is some BS. Continue. But you have no idea how bad Manfred. Manfred is so bad that no matter who wins the World Series, he's like football. Ro- Roger Goodell. Yeah. You know how Roger Goodell gets booed at every every Super Bowl. Yeah. This dude is worse. He gets booed at every baseball. No matter what, it could be a regular season game, just visiting the team. It could be like a ceremony. It could be just the the World Series win. He will get booed anytime, every time he walks into a stadium. Nobody likes him. Nobody. He's stupid. So anyway, he and his team put out these rules, and they never, they've never they never played the fucking game of baseball. A lot of these people making the rules have never even played the game of soccer, hockey, baseball. Nothing. So they're just, fans. The they're just fans. They're just fans of the game. Yeah. They don't. Yeah, and they're executives who get paid millions and millions and millions of dollars, possibly billions, and have nothing to do. They literally do not know, and Trevor Bauer called them out. So there's a, con- there's a theory that the MLB is coming after him or a team. So, whew, okay, now that I have that out of the way, Trevor Bauer. So it came out on June 27th, I think it was. No, I don't remember when it was. But essentially what happened was Trevor Bauer – was uh, accused of, of sexual assault and sexual harassment of a woman right off the bat. I didn't believe it. But then, so basically the lady came out and said, he, he punched me in the face. He choked me with my hair. He roughed me up. He did this to me and he did, he uh, fucked me this way. And that way and it was terrible. And I, I, I didn't know what to do and this and this and that. But then uh, his lawyers John Adderoff, John Adderoff and uh, Rachel Lumba came out and said, uh, actually, there's texts here. Actually, there's texts here that show that she had asked for it and asked to be treated. I want It turns me on when you do this. I want you to do this and that to me and this. And Trevor Bowers into that kind of thing. And I'm not going to judge him. I'm not, but he is. And obviously, if a girl is telling you, I want you to do this and I want you to do that. Well, obviously, that's written consent. So... Not only that, but she also went back a second time 
to his house. So I don't know if I get raped I, I, and I've never been raped. So maybe if someone could explain it to me, if I get raped, I wouldn't want to go back to my rapist's house. Oh, that was fun. Let me go do it again. What? So what the MLB does is it puts Trevor Bauer on a seven day administrative leave because they're now going to investigate it. Well, then they put him on another leave. Then it comes out that they want to talk to her, but not to him. And excuses that baseball fans were giving because they're cocksuckers and they're stupid is, oh, well, you know, maybe uh, they, 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 they don't want whatever he says, the, uh, the, the Pasadena police who's investigating is, is going to subpoena that. And my reply on Twitter was, isn't it going to be the same if the fucking bitch speaks out? Like, it, if this woman speaks out, isn't it going to be the same? Yeah, it is. Hey, there's, um, there, there's a murder suspect and uh, someone who saw the murder. And someone who saw the murder is going to just go talk about it. Well, the police are absolutely going to want to talk to them. How dumb can you be to make that comment? So then they keep extending his leave. And then it comes out. A friend of hers, of the woman, releases text messages that she had a uh, affair with two, I think, a San Diego player, two of them. Um, and by the way, she's from San Diego. Trevor Bowers from Pasadena. And essentially what it shows is she had been texting the friend, oh, I've been interrogated by the police and the league or, or whoever. They were calling me a prostitute. And it basically is her saying, I just want to be a baseball wife. So she's just after all the money. And that's what it's been all along, right? And so the MLB is trying to play police when they're supposed to be a fucking league. And then they, they've come out and said, well, if the MLBPA doesn't grant more, oh, wait, wait. Now... So before then, the day this came out, the lady had, and she's not a victim. She's not, no, uh-uh. Are you crybabies that think so? No, she's not. She's just a, a, a little slut that likes to have fun, and I am all for that. Just don't come back and say, because he did the things I wanted him to, he, um, he, he, he assaulted me. No, it's written consent, right, you dumbass. So essentially what they did was they placed a restraining order on them. There's a hearing next Wednesday. I'm definitely going to be posting then. Uh, and so, but the MLB and the MLBPA, which is the, the Major League Baseball and the Major League Baseball Players Association, they then extended his league. If they can, if they, like if the MLB next week extends it more or at the end of the two weeks that he just got right now, the extension, if they, if they come out and say no, no more, which they normally have, which is stupid because they don't know how to look at facts. They don't. If they don't, if they don't, the MLBPA doesn't give consent to the MLB to extend his leave. Now it's up to the Dodgers and the league to come up with a punishment. So right off the bat, it sounds like um, it used to be in this country, you're innocent until proven guilty. Go to work, do this, do that. Now you're proving you're guilty until proven innocent. So Trevor Bauer's not allowed on the roster. They took down his, and I'll go the, 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 down that path in a little bit. But now they're extending his leave. And now they're saying, oh, well, if we can't find another leave, if they don't consent to it, we got to come up with punishment? You're not the police. There's no charges on him. Nobody has said, well, he's, he's been, uh, he's under investigation for felony assault. But nobody has said, well, we have three charges for Mr. Bauer, and here they are. No, nobody has come out with that. But the league is acting like the police. Well, we want to do our own investigation. How about you let Trevor Bauer play, you bastards, and you keep in contact with the police? Hey, what's going on? Uh, you get an MLB lawyer, and they get in contact with the Pasadena Police Department of the detectives there. They communicate. And then if Trevor Bauer does get charged, then I see them going, okay, hey, you know what? We need to take you off. Well, the Dodgers... The next part is the Dodgers have come out and distanced themselves. They canceled his bobblehead night. And I think, you know, that's probably the least controversial part of it because you have to start ordering the bobbleheads like now. Now, if you have 56,000 fans, right, at full capacity, even 10, 11,000, that's 56,000 bobbleheads or more because of guests and honorary people and dignitaries, whatever, special guests kind of thing. So, it takes the companies who make them really long to make them. So, okay, fine. You want to cancel that? That's fine because you might not be there. But then the players 
Justin Turner, Max Muncy, Albert Pujols, Mookie Betts, Chris Taylor, um, Justin, uh, and a bunch of others basically started distancing themselves from him by unfollowing him. Isn't that incredible how you're – well, actually, um, these events I'm describing are a little bit backwards, this one in particular. It's funny how when he's going through this, his boys are not sticking by his side. And more than likely, it's because their wives and girlfriends are, babe, you don't want to be doing And Dustin May, who's out on, um, on the aisle because of, of Tommy John surgery. But it's like he – so um, – they're like, they're, I bet you their wives are like, hey, if you don't do this, you know, no sex. Oh, you don't want to do this because remember, baby, it's women. They're being assaulted. This is that because of all this believe women shit. And look, I do think sexual assault is prevalent. I think it's annoying that guys just can't decide to ask for yes or no and then just go for it and harass women. I think it's stupid. Keep your dick in your pants. And as soon as you hear no, move the fuck on. This is what causes these problems. But they start distancing themselves from him. And it, sh- it really shows what coward teammates they are. I've called them the Los Angeles cowards on my videos. Because oh, yeah. they are. They, uh, yeah, you heard that. Because they are. Because they're, they're not standing by their guy. So then, so what happened before that was the, the teams, uh, the team took down his merchandise. After the bobblehead night, they take down his merchandise. I said it out of order. But they took take down his merchandise from the online stores and the, the physical stores. And their excuse was, well, we don't think it was appropriate given the investigations. What about the investigations? There's nothing going on. They're literally. So now Dodger fans who maybe there's a lot of lower class Dodger fans. Maybe a jersey costs 50 bucks or a T-shirt. And they saved up for months just to get that. And now they can't get that because, well, there's an invest. So the, there's a problem where it's. Attack first, then ask questions. So now they, you know, they were at the All-Star game and they just threw him under the bus and avoided the topic when they were asked. I bet you it's the Dodgers PR team going, hey, make sure you say this, make sure you say that, say that you have enough depth, you need to just win baseball games, da, da, da. So again, they're not standing by their guy. So when it happens to them, I bet you it would happen to them. They, they're uh, they're going to want him and everybody else to stand by them, but they won't. Uh, they, they they probably won't for good for for good reasons. Their wives, right? And so uh, I don't know. That's just a theory, I, right? Your viewers are gonna be like, ah, he's a second. No, it's right. But um, that's that's essentially what's happening, and it's just stupid that they're almost firing him and uh, taking down all his merchandise and all that before anything even comes out. Anything, right? That, yeah, that's now the stupid. yeah the the merchandise thing I, I agree with you there. Like why why get rid of the merchandise when you know um, things haven't come out yet? Um, now with the MLBPA, the way I see that situation, um, they're cocksuckers. They're stupid. And that's true. Um, uh, because sometimes the NFL um, PA is also sometimes a little interesting. Now. The team, the team doesn't investigate, or do they do their own investigations, or can they hire like a private organization, or does it has does it have to go through the MLB? Um, it usually just goes through the MLB because I mean, kind of like this whole Dan Schneider thing is going through the NFL itself. Because, hold on, God damn it, my phone, a uh, different. Like, because you don't want your team investigating because there, there could be like a bias, right? And even if you hire an independent investigation, uh, independent investigator, it's like the MLB likes to take control because, well, you know. I mean, the, right? way, I, the, way, the way I see it. Cause the way I look at it is this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The way I look at it is this. Anyone who's not the Los Angeles Dodgers can get away with whatever the hell they want. Look at the Houston Astros. All they got was a slap on the wrist, a couple of draft picks taken away, their manager fired, and that was it. The players uh, got immunity. They didn't get expelled. They didn't get banned from baseball. Their championship wasn't taken away. They weren't told that they couldn't play for a year. But when you're the Dodgers, everyone comes after you. Anyway, keep going. No, the way that I see it is that the way that, um, I mean, it depends on the circumstance. If, 
from what I'm hearing and from what I've watched on your videos, I think that the investigation is stupid. I think that since the woman has already admitted that she was asking for it, just move on. But now if it was him, you know, actually sexually assaulting and then like the woman was afraid, that would have been a completely different story because, you know, sports don't have, you know, sports should have a zero tolerance for, you know, misconduct. Either you be an owner, president of a team like Florentino Perez, but I'll talk about that later. Um, you know, so on and so forth. Because, um, you know, the NFL uh, PA, you know, they already have certain uh, players on their on their list. Like uh, former Washington team, granted he was cleared, um, running back Darius Geis. My thing is, if things happened in their college days, and they're already in the pros. Why should it matter? Why should it yep. matter? In, in my exactly, opinion, like like you're 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 a college kid. You know when you when you're in college, you know you you have fun. You know it's it's all about studying and maybe you're getting through your career, but you have fun along the way. Now, if you get if you're in like if you're trying to go to the pros, you know that's fine. If it affects you know that's why you get um yeah. You know, you get hit with your with your uh, with um, with the draft. That's why I, I like you know the draft prospects saying or the draft analyst saying, "Oh, the reason why this guy dropped so far is because he got suspended for this, this, and this." Leave it alone. You're already in the NFL. If you're if if you if you have an offense on you in college, like what happened to I think Ezekiel Elliott. I think what, the reason why he got suspended was because he wasn't still in like whatever happened to him was um, when he was still in college or something like that. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it, it was also one of the new draft picks that they got. Some yeah, I forgot who. Yeah, for, yeah. Um, now, because in my opinion, you know, the the NFL or you know, in your case, the NFL, we have no right to right to investigate because it's happened either so far in the past, you know, in their in their college days, or the victim outright, you know, the the conversations you know, that, that are seen, especially with what you, from what I'm hearing is you're saying that, you know, she kind of asked for it. Um, and you know, it's, uh, it shows in, in the messages. Now the team, however, uh, in my opinion, should either have two choices, you know, play him out, you know, play him or, you know, bench him. The administrative leave, I think, is ridiculous. I think it is. You know, what is that? I haven't, I haven't even heard of that. It's, it, it, it's literally, um, it, and, and this, like this is for all organizations. Is it like a suspension? It's like a suspension. It's basically used for any time there's an investigation. You ever heard of like, uh, the police officer is going to take a paid leave while oh. they're, they investigate. That's what it's used for. A lot of people will take them, like teachers have taken them or whatever. You still get paid. Now, there's another administrative league that's unpaid, but Trevor Bauer still getting his $1.5 million a week. Six mil a month. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, but to be honest, I'm not administrative, at least like, really. No, you're right. I haven't, I haven't even heard, like, that. that's, that's dumb. Um, I mean, do we know all the circumstances? No. Uh, well, again, maybe there's things, you know, still, still out there. My thing is let him as like, I agree with you, you know, the, how in the world that we live in, you know, you're supposed to, you know, you're innocent until proven guilty. And unfortunately in the, in the world of sports, especially you're guilty until proven, until proven innocent. innocent. That's what yeah. I don't like about, you know, sports investigations that like the media, and this is what I don't like about the media either is that they, you know, make you look out like, like, like the bad guy when you don't know the circumstance of what they're going through. Unfortunately, you know. Um, Cause yeah, go ahead. Before I go on a rant. No, yeah. I'll, I'll let you, I'll, I'll let you go on your, on your rant. Um, yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'll let you, I think, I think I wrapped up my thought. Go ahead. No, no, it's just a small thing. You know, the media are fucking liars. It, because you're dealing with establishment media and they're trying to preserve an image. Oh my God, we've got to do this and do that. How many lies do they put out? Whether you're the politics world and CNN, MSNBC, ABC, all of those, PBS, Fox News, 
or your Fox Sports, ESPN, ESPN Plus, or your ESPN FC, whoever you are, your, 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 what's, what's that guy's name? He's got that New York accent. Stephen A. Smith or whatever. Yeah. Shannon Max, Sharp. Max, Skip Bayless. Ke- Max Keller, Keller, Keller. Max Ke- whatever his name is. Whoever you are, you have to maintain an establishment kind of view, uh, an established point of view. And if you stray from that, well, you're, you're a, you know, whatever, right? They're going to push you out. If you, if you told the truth about the Iraq war, you were out. If you told the truth about the Astros, you were out. Or you were now, oh, we're not going to give you a guest host spot. If you told the truth about Colin Kaepernick and you weren't the number one news host on ESPN, whoever, I don't remember who it is, um, the number one host, he can tell the truth because he brings in so much money. They're like, oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember. They're scared. And if they do anything, guess what? The fans are going to go, well, fuck you. I'm not going to watch you anymore. But if some Jamel Hill or anybody says anything about Colin Kaepernick or whatever, they're out. Or, oh, now you have the 8 o'clock where no one's watching or you have a weekend show or whatever. So you're right. The media makes them look terrible. And then they're not reporting the facts. And that's why people don't watch the media because they and they rely on independent shows like yours and mine because we actually talk about it because no, we don't have billion dollars, million dollar studios and billion dollar backers and sponsors. We don't have money telling us shut up and say it this way. We have us. Yeah, exactly. And that's why we're authentic. Speaking of media and and media, um, media playing a a card and, and disgracing certain things. I'm not a fan of the guy, but I think the media played him dirty. Unfortunately, I have to – I can't believe I'm defending him after calling him a clown for so many videos. <laughs> Florentino Perez. Um, so – and more and more – Hold on, hold on. I do, I do want to ask you about Washington after this. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Um, so what are your thoughts on um, – so if – you guys don't follow me if you guys are new to my channel. Um, I actually had to do a rec- – I did a, 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 um, a clip of this yesterday because I was on vacation when this whole entire saga was happening. So it comes out that some leaked interview tapes from 2000. 2000- 12, I want to say, where Florentino Perez was talking about players that played for Real Madrid in his 2006 stint, his 2009 stint, and even a manager from his 2012 stint, from 2010 to 12 stint. And he was, you know, calling them that they're not, you know, good players, that they're all lunatics. And I just said, the media, um, you know, shame on you for – you know, trying to, you know, it may be true. It may be true because, you know, Florentino Perez, you know, has a habit of sticking his foot in his mouth, you know, a, you know, super league. Um, go check, yeah. go check that playlist out. Um, but like, if you're, what is the end game? Because things have passed. The past is, you know, this hat, you know, the players that used to play are either retired or old. Or, you know, clo- close to retirement. Like, Cristiano Ronaldo, he's 36 years old. He's winding down his career. You know, the other players that, you know, Florentino Perez called out was um, – are either, you know, funny enough, managers for, for his team, either, you know, well, you know, a fitness coach or, you know, training the, the, the younger the, – the B squad or whatever you like to call it, the, the minors for American folks. Um – and then the media comes out and leaks these tapes. And I'm like, why? Why? That's stupid. Why does it matter? What is your thoughts on, on that? Because I know that you're, 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 I know that you're a very uh, colorful person when it comes to media. Let's just say it that way. I mean, come on. You just heard me do a rant and your viewers are hearing more cursing than they've ever heard in their lives, especially on your channel. They're going to send you to YouTube jail. Like what happened to General Fisk or General Vegas, whatever happened? Like it's going to happen. I'm sorry, Oscar. Um, No, I hope not. But so my (laughs) 
<laughs> I, you know, this will be my first strike. So, <laughs> don't have that guy on your channel again. <laughs> you, we will send you to jail if you do that. Anyway, um, I feel like that's gonna be everybody who has me on their podcast. I hope not, but I, I kind of agree. Um, you know, and look, I my first thought was he just he's a divisive figure, and I said this on your channel on, on your uh, comments on that video. I'm not sure if you checked it, but on, on that video I said he's a divisive figure. Um, you either love him or you hate him. He was first about winning, and if you didn't, you were out. Uh, any championships. Now he's just like I don't know, lazy, making More money, money. Yeah. and. And, and look, he made a lot of money when he was winning because the more you win, the more people want to pay. The more sponsorships want to join you and get to you, right? But it is from the effing past. It's not like Iker Garcia, Raul Gonzalez, and all of them are there now, Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm pissed at him for saying that shit because I love Cristiano Ronaldo. I used to have a jersey. My brother loves him. I mean, we're all fans of his. Yeah. We hate Messi, but, uh, you know, Messi. but I mean, it's in the past. You're right. What's the end game here? It, it's just for the media to stir something up. And it could, be, it could be someone else going through the Spanish media saying, I got these tapes. Whoever interviewed him, someone got a hold of him because that's how it works is people want to take him down and they think it's controversial. <gasps> and, but like I said, I don't think it's going to do anything to the team. Okay, he said those things. What it's going to do is build this because a lot of people already either – some players, I, what is it? Garrett Bale didn't like uh, Zinedine didn't like, Zidane, or yeah. someone didn't like. They, they right? didn't like each other. They didn't like each other, but anyway. They don't like each other, and 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 when you have that bad blood on the team, basically, it's like, okay, fine, I'm gonna bench you. Okay, fine, well, I'm not gonna play for you, and then you loan players out. But a lot of players are gonna come in thinking, what's he gonna say about me next, right? And they're not gonna fully trust him. And are they gonna want to win for Real Madrid? You could say yes because they obviously want to be champions, and they want championship. What do they win? Trophies, rings. Trophies, right? Yeah. Trophies. So they want those, but on the other hand, they're like, "Well, this guy's probably gonna talk his shit, no matter." Because Ronaldo was winning, Gonzalez was winning, Iker Garcia was winning. Is if the, right? I think yeah. that's his name. And okay. so they all won. And yeah, okay, you want to say what you want about the players? Maybe don't say it in an audio, audio where you're being recorded, right? Because, I mean, come on, uh, like you don't think that. He's having those talks anyway. It's just this time it was recorded. Honestly, I think it's a waste of time. It takes away from the game. It takes away from strategy if he's even got any, to be honest with you. Real Madrid has seen a low in the long... I haven't seen this. I haven't seen this low in forever for Real Madrid. And But just trying to say, oh, he said this. What do you... I, I do have the same question. What are they hoping to get out of it? And I think it's just controversy. And I think... I know you said that uh, Madrid Ball and another YouTuber, their brothers, they wouldn't even touch this. I, I think that's, and, and I'm not trying to be mean to them. I'm just saying that's that's a terrible way to go. That's a dumb thing to do because when you cover a sports team and you, it, if that's your main thing, I feel like you can just cover the games and all that. But I guarantee you they cover other controversies. Oh, the refs did this. Oh, this player said this. Why can't they cover this? It's not a touch. And maybe I'm just, I'm just not knowledgeable. But maybe there's a politics realm of it. Not <laughs> like that. But it's, maybe, but, maybe, maybe, you, maybe they have a filter in you. Since you don't have a filter, you don't care. It's not a, <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, boy. Um, my filter is coming. But I, I, you could be right. I don't have a filter. And if it's a controversy, I don't give a damn. I'm going to talk about it. But it's also, you got to inform your fans. Um, the, the people watching your channel come to you for a reason. And it's not a touchy subject to where your channel is going to get banned for that. It's a subject. It's what's going on in the news right now in Real Madrid. There's a controversy with them trying to trade Marc-Andre Fleury, but they kept Robin Leonard. Who in the world would keep Robin Leonard? Right? So, and not Fleury. The greatest of all, one of the greatest of all time. Right. So, you know, I, I think to, to wrap it up, it's, it's, it's a controversy, but it's no controversy to the point where your channel is going to go down. If anything, this could help your channel. And if you don't do it for the views, just do it to put the news out there. It's not going to hurt your channel. And I think with Florentino Perez, just continue doing Yubu. 
and just ignore the goddamn media because there someone's out there trying to do something to Florentino Perez. Yeah, I mean he's a sketchy person. It's in, in himself because reports are saying that apparently, like he, like I guess I don't know, like a third party or someone in his in his board of directors were offering him like money to like get rid of the tapes and he declined or something like that. I don't know. Some juicy stuff that, like I said, since well, hopefully it doesn't affect the once it affects the team, then obviously I'll report it. But you know, it's distractions, especially if Real Madrid, you know, are looking to rebuild their their team because you know they lost some play, you know, some players that are actually pretty good. They're actually looking to sell a player that actually doesn't want to be there anymore. Um, you know, it just sucks that you know on top of all of that. You know, Real Madrid fans have to contend with this social media or the media. You know, I, yeah, to... and I, yeah, and I think that's a lot of fans for a lot of sports. And I think, um, you know, it's uh, like Washington. you know, I, I no, just think like the Washington. They're gonna get team. over this. Well, look yeah. at the Washington football team. There's a giant controversy with your owner, but guess what? No one really talks about it all the time. Whenever I see content about Washington or Dallas, it's all about. Well, Dallas about Jerry Jones not staying the f out of things, but um, it's but for you guys, it's about the team. It's about your prospects, is right? Like Adam Humphreys or whatever. So, me personally, with the ownership is going to affect you. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, I guess we can uh, wrap up with the Washington talk. Um, I mean, here's you know the the situation with the ownership was apparently like he made. I guess like he signed off on his wife being CEO. Me personally, as long as he's not involved, I don't care. You know, if if he's forced to sell the team, that's fine too. I just don't like he's owned that team for 20 21 years now to little to no success. Like he has had no success whatsoever. Only he hasn't won a playoff game. I don't know. He won only one playoff game in his stint as owner. <laughs> so he's a moron as it is. You know, he, he spends, he used to spend a lot of money on free agents that, you know, were overhyped and they haven't, they don't pan out. So a change is needed. Now, if it was his, you know, with the, like, did I like, or do I mind that it's his wife? Not so much. Like me personally, I'm going to have to give me a year. Like if she holds on to that title of CEO or being the owner for about a year, you know, maybe if I notice a difference then obviously, you know, I'll talk about it, but why, why his, you know, why his wife, obviously, you know, there's still investigations, even though, you know, they're clearing bit by bit saying that, you know, he's, you know, clearing his name. There's no, you know, evidence because apparently like even though the women are speaking out about you know his sexual misconduct they're saying that you know nothing has been found you know apparently like um granted you know ron rivera and the new regime is trying so hard to clear this team's name um even though they don't have one get it get the pun (laughs) um yeah. They're, they're, they're trying so hard to, like, trying to rectify a lot of things. It's just that this owner switching it, you know, I, in my opinion, he should have just sold it a long time ago. You know, it wasn't too long ago, back in 2019. Remember those memories, 2019 before mm-hmm. pandemic. You know, yeah. you know, fans were chanting, sell the team in, in the stadium. So they were, sell the team. Sell. And you can hear it, too, on the, on the TV. Um. I think, I mean, I don't know. Like, I guess I would have wanted him to sell the team to to give it a new look, but I guess we're going to have to settle for the best, the next best thing, which is, you know, his wife running operations for, you know, a couple of months and see how it goes from there. So um, what are your your thoughts on on Washington? Because I know that you said that you wanted to discuss it, and I guess we can wrap up this clip because I got to edit this and I'm not trying to make it too long. You can make it three more hours. Um, you know, <laughs> and especially if I'm hiring other people to edit it and I'm going to be excuse, uh, <laughs> excuse the, the content 
Oh my God, the language. Oh my God, I feel so bad now that I didn't know you were going to, I thought you were editing by yourself. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. I've, I'm going to control my language. Uh, poor Ira. Oh, my God. You might want to warn him. Look, I got a friend. He was on the podcast. He's a hothead. He's a freaking loud mouth. I'm, I was going to say effing, but no. No, the actual word. <laughs> but, you know, uh, sorry. I I'm have so to, what, I, what I'm probably going to do is I'm actually going to look at it myself. Mm-hmm. Make the timestamps happen. Yeah. And then have them... You know, just go through the timestamp. You know, just do it through the time. So that way they don't have to listen. They'll listen to a little bit, but still warn them, you know, because you, you might want to tell them don't record this session because then they, they, they will. They won't because then that'll be on there and you don't want that on yeah. your record. Mm. So, I mean, you could because then you go to YouTube channel and I get more views. But anyway, um, yeah, no. On, so the first thing for, for his the sexual thing, what did it involve? What, cheerleaders? And he was like... What was he? So apparently it was like some cheerleaders like that they hired for like a photo shoot or something like that. And I guess like they were like sexually abusing by like with their language or something like that. It, it's something along those lines. It was so long. It's been so long ago. That, and the, the, the team has been through a lot of changes that I don't even remember the whole story. Yeah, I mean, if but, they, but they got rid, he got rid of all the people that were there. Like, um, like they, they, like I said, they made a lot of changes. Like most of the people, aside from the owner, are all gone. Like it's all Ron Rivera, and it's all, you know, they're all Ron Rivera guys technically. Like aside from Dan Snyder, who who knows if he's going to be selling soon? Because I guess the the NFL has concluded their investigation. And if you're hearing that noise, I apologize. It's the pipes. Every single time people flush the toilet. Um, and the pipes make that noise. because Oscar forgot to flush. I'll flush <laughs> you right. I'll flush you right out of my system real quick. So, whoa! I <laughs> did not get an Oscar system. It might be naive. I don't know. <laughs> might be all the damn Peruvian chicken he eats. Jesus, man! I man, forget about that Peruvian chicken. Mm. Anyway, no, so I, so yeah, so I think so. Okay, so here's the thing. Um. Aziz Ansari is a comedian. And there was this lady who came out like, oh my God, he didn't listen to my nonverbal communications. And this nonverbal communications, even women were like, what the fuck are you talking about? Right? And it almost ruined his career. And I think it is, has hurt his career massively because he cleared his name. But when that happens, it's like the woman has no repercussions, but he does. Now, with this guy, Dan Snyder, there's two things. Number one, if they're saying, oh, well, during the photo shoot, they used sexually harassing language. Now, look, it could cause psychological problems. It could cause, I don't think it caused disorders, but it can cause depression. It can cause a whole bunch of shit. But if you've got no evidence, if nobody ever thought, hmm, let me bring a tape recorder. Because I know it, it wasn't just one time. If they didn't go home and go, let me bring a, t- a tape recorder and let me get this at the era when it's me too and all that. Well, I feel no sympathy for you, honey, because, you know, sorry, kid, you didn't bring, you didn't, there's no evidence, right? Now, I'm saying this as I hate Washington, but so I think on, I think on that, the difference is there's a couple similarities, but the difference is Trevor Bauer is benched. He's not benched as an owner. There's not really a way you can do that. The NFL can't just come and go, well, you can't participate in any activities. Not that I know of. Well, they, um, they could they can force him to sell the team. Aside from that, they could force him to sell it, but they didn't. And his investigations can being concluded. Similarities are both leagues are investigating both men, and so you know I right so for Trevor Bauer was guilty until proven innocent. For uh, Snyder, it was it's Snyder, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. um, it was innocent until proven guilty and he was pretty it's is he was is pretty much being proven not guilty so i mean he's pretty much being proven innocent but on the thing about making his wife ceo so remember when i said why doesn't jerry jones just right yeah so i said what happens when jerry jones dies and you said well it goes to his son because technically it's his business it goes to his son so 
in a way, I mean, it kind of works the same way. I, I would be curious to see what his wife does. I think for all the woke people, it's kind of cool to have, like, remember the, the woman referee at the Super Bowl this year? Yeah. Uh-huh. That's awesome. People say, oh, no, she's going to be flirting with all the guys. Gonna oh, Come on. Half those guys are fucking monsters. Wait. Wait. Those guys are <laughs> I like how you have to pause. <laughs> I have to think about what I'm gonna say. <laughs> you, you They're sexually big, active you, members. You're like, you're like, wait, take a drink, take a sip. <laughs> wait. <laughs> So because I'm like, wait, well, don't, wash all the curse words out. They're, they're sexually active people. And I would be more scared of them than a woman referee. Just, all right, she flirts. Who cares? But she's there to do her job. And there's, there's that problem when we underestimate people. So is it cool to have a woman referee? Absolutely. Is it cool to have a woman owner? Absolutely. Now, aside from that, I would be curious to see, hey, if she does a good job, hell, why not, right? I'm against sons and daughters and wives having ownership just because i think it should go to someone else now genie bus um is the wife of uh jerry bus i guess the wife or the daughter Hold on. alexa who is genie bus Ah, Alexa, stop. Okay, I'm sorry to your viewers. I said wife. Whoa, I went into incest. Uh, no, but so Jeannie is his daughter. So Jerry Jones on or not Jerry Jones. I wish. So, um, so J- Jerry Bus unfortunately passed away, and I mean he won what five, six different championships with the Lakers, two with the Los Angeles Kings because he owns them too. Gave it to his daughter. Obviously, he died, so it went to his daughter. And Jeannie Buss, through the pandemic, led one of the best teams in the, in the NBA ever. Absolutely incredible. For, and the first female champion ever. And I'm proud of her. And, and, and so on one hand, it's a good thing because she did great with the team. But either way, I am kind of against it because it's like too much of a dynasty. And if you've sucked for so long like Jerry Jones and Jerry Jones Jr. have, I am going to hate when it does eventually go to Jerry Jones Jr. Well, I guess it depends, he's it made, de- it depends you know. on if you're a good owner and a bad owner. Because I remember, I think... Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm trying to say. The Las Vegas Raiders, the, when the dad Ew. passed away, it's, it's back to the Suns. Um, yeah. I think, I don't know, if, I think it's either the tenant. There are a few NFL teams that have um, owners and like the 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 offspring have actually like done a little bit better than you to say. Yeah, um, that's Vegas true. Raiders. And I mean, granted Las Vegas Raiders, even though, Hey, you're supposed to be just cheering the Las Vegas Raiders. You're, you're, you're cheering hell you're- to the F- <laughs> Oscar. I'm going to curse. I'm going to do it. You better not go there. You <laughs> son of a Ooh, Oscar. I'm a Cowboys fan for life. F the Raiders. Oh, don't get me started, Oscar. <laughs> I will get you so bad, banned so hard. I will have eight months to do you, content and you, surpass you. You will be able to not post ever. It's it's okay. Uh huh. You'll I have can to switch, come on can, my podcast. I can yeah. I can switch my I can switch my channel name and create a new user. Don't don't. No no no. <laughs> I'll make I'll, I'll I'll make sure to I'll make sure to hack you and get all those all these videos. On that channel, and they're like, "Oh no, this channel's banned too." Oops. Anyway, <laughs> continue. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Anyways, um, what was I saying before? I, I was supposed to say that you were supposed to cheer the Las Vegas Raiders. Cause... Something about the sh- shitty Las Vegas Raiders. Oops. Okay, so but I have a question. Would you go? Because I think that they're like hosting a Super Bowl, like that stadium. Would you go to that stadium or not? Nah? Yes. Or, just um, I, or, it, or is it just it, something against the team? <laughs> It's the team. I have something against the stadium too, but it's a beautiful stadium. Um, it's in giant, dude. They do a they do a seventy dollar tour, 
out here for now because it's before the preseason. So if you pay $70, you can literally go see a suite. My dad said they saw a suite at six. Get ready. Get ready for this number. Six hundred, six hundred thousand dollars for just that suite. Dang, you know what sucks? The Cowboys and the Las Vegas Raiders are playing for Thanksgiving, but it's in Dallas. I was going to say, that would have been a good opportunity uh, to see your Dallas in action, but they play in Dallas for Thanksgiving. That's true. That is that is true. But I think, don't they play here in Vegas one other time? I don't remember because I didn't look at the schedule. No, it's just that one time. Just that one. You mother. They, they play against Los Angeles. A couple of times, but they don't play against Las Vegas. Nah, I'm not in Los Angeles, man. Los Angeles. But um, I would go because UNLV, I think they're going to switch from Sam Boyd Stadium to that stadium, the Raiders Stadium. And I have to say, I'm, I'm effing glad about that. I'm freaking glad because, oh, my God, Sam Boyd Stadium is so far. It's like on the eastern part of Vegas. It's so far that even people who live near there are like, we don't want it here anymore. It's it, that's why so many people when you go to the games of UNLV games, there's so the college, there's people walking in around the third quarter because it's so far. It creates traffic and then the long lines. So I'm excited for that. And there's going to be concerts. Obviously, Garth Brooks is coming out. So yeah, I would go. And if I do go watch a football game, if I do go to the Super Bowl, if, uh, I better win something to go to the Super Bowl because I can't afford that. But if I went. You know, it would be the cheer for the other team. And uh, if my Cowboys come out here, <laughs> I'm definitely going to go sit on the Cowboy side. Watch, watch the Las Vegas Raiders make it to the Super Bowl, and you're going to be miserable that weekend. You're going to be like, no stream, no live stream, Oscar. I don't yeah, want I mean, you. To, I don't want you to cover the Las Vegas Raiders. No, nope, you. You're not allowed to cover the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, it, well, I, I think I would watch the Super Bowl because I mean, it's going to be another team too, and I'm going to root for them. Oh, I don't know if it's the Patriots. I'm going to have a really difficult time doing that. To be honest, my grudge was against Tom Brady. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. My grudge was against Tom Brady and Bill Bill Belichick. But them by themselves, they're fine. Like, I actually have no beef with them anymore. Well, because, I mean, no, because Tom Brady's a cheater. And everyone loves Tom Brady, including Mark andre Fleury. And I'm like, Fleury, that dude's a cheater. This deflated ball situation will forever taint him. That's true. Cause he did. He, funny enough, he he did get suspended for that. Or did he get suspended for another? I, oh no! Yeah, he got suspended for that. The the deflate eh. gate. It, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't mess with him though. His record's still what it is. Mm, that's true. He doesn't deserve anything that he has. He to me, if you are willing to cheat, then like the Houston Trash Tros, um, which is what we call them, Josh Reddick. A, a guy just came out saying it was the Dodgers who cheated. I'm like, yeah, that's why uh, they, you were investigated and you got draft picks taken away and your manager was fired. Okay. Um, but anyway, so I I don't want to go see the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, yeah, unfortunately. But I will go to the, the stadium if it's something other than like football. Unfortunately, the Cowboys and the Vegas Raiders when they – yeah, unfortunately, the Raiders and the Cowboys, the day that they play is Thanksgiving, and Cowboys, for some reason, like to play the Thanksgiving tradition. That, that's what I'm I'm like, why, why think? But it's a family tradition, at least for me and my dad, we watch the Cowboy game and then, you know, things like that. So Watch, watch them get pummeled for I know. Five, five years running. I think they got pummeled the last five years on Thanksgiving. That's true. That's true. And then you got 1999. But then your punishment is making me cowboy scripts for why well, I don't even remember the bet, but <laughs> for some reason I forgot about the nineteen ninety nine. And when you kept on saying nineteen ninety nine, I kept on thinking nineteen ninety nine the year? Like what's so important about nineteen ninety nine the year? <laughs> yeah, why not? The year. Yeah, totally. Perfect. I'd be like I'd be like, the year that my brother was born? You were born in ninety nine. My brother was. Oh, I was. Oh. <laughs> yeah, totally, Oscar. I, I meant that. No, I meant what I paid you. Man. But um, at the end of the day, I hurt your wallet the most because now you're forced to be paying for me forty bucks per script, 
And guess what? The NFL is coming back in three weeks, four weeks. Yeah, but I can extend that payment plan for a long time. That is true. You took forever to pay me my $120. Well, that, well, that one was not on purpose. It was because I was like, I was like low and I was helping the family out. And I was like, dude, I got to pay people. And they were like, oh, whatever. So I had to like earn money back <laughs> and pay you. But this time I'm going to do it on purpose. For every, for, for every late fee, I'm charging you five bucks. Ah, uh, yeah. And then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you five cents. Here, Oscar, five dollars. It's five, five cents. It's five, it's five dollars somewhere. Yeah. Send me every, like, every day, like five cents for every day. That would be fun. <laughs> you would never get paid, basically. <laughs> Don't tempt me, Oscar. No. Nah. Again, my policy is as long as you, you uh, I mean, I do the scripts, is just that you don't, you haven't even posted the schedule yet. Your thoughts on the schedule. And I Oscar, said that I've been end. going through a lot lately, and I said that I would do it, Oscar. <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Uh, you want to know what, what else, Oscar? Um, I'm also catching up to you in views, it's, it's and you're kinda, letting it happen. It, it's this kinda, is embarrassing, Oscar. It, it's it's kind of good that um that we that it's, I it's embarrassing. That. It's good that I scrapped that whole entire de- covering the draft the the draft scripts because those draft those draft uh, videos would never would have come. <laughs> you barely covered rounds two and three. <laughs> I thought I did round four, and then I looked for it. And I couldn't find it. No, you didn't do. I sent you round four, but uh, you ended up just doing two and three. And I just told you to well, scrap. Because you offered the script, and I was like, sure, why not? Yeah, but then I told you to forget about um, making a video for it, and I told you to forget about the script. Just pay me for the schedule. Yeah, yeah, or the schedule. Yeah, you, you told me to just do that. But, hey, you know what? What's funny? You know, I love how you, you beat the Cowboys and all that, and you still couldn't get to the playoffs. You Washington, still can't even reach the Super Bowl. Washington, Your team Washington. sucks ass. Washington didn't make it to the playoffs. Oh, see? God, your, your team is so bad. I mean, I know mine has got a lot of work to do, but yours, Jesus Christ. You yeah. pummel the Dallas Cowboys, America's team, and you still can't win? It just proves that you suck. It's like the Golden Knights. Their record was amazing. Their power, power play stop, sucked, and their record, it wasn't going to save their ass. Hey, man, the but, hey, man, but something that I've been wanting to tell you is at least the Golden Knights – because you gave them a lot of crap. And you were like, oh, they're not going to make it to the playoffs. They made it to the playoffs. Oh, they're, they're not going to get past round one. They're, they made it past round one. Oh, they're not going to make it past round two. They made it past round two. They made it to the semifinals. Granted, they got smacked in the semifinals. but And didn't I say they won't make it to the Stanley Cup? Did I not say that? I said that. You, you said your team was going to be better. It wasn't. You said Real Madrid was going to be better. They weren't. You, you know, said Washington. No, no, no. You, what are you said. No, no, wait, 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 wait a minute. You said. What are you talking about? I'm going to curse. You fucking said that Real Madrid was going to be better. You said Washington was going to be better. You said, I'm never going to go after Zinedine Zidane again. I love Zinedine Zidane. I hate Zinedine Zidane. <laughs> I love Zinedine Zidane. Make up your damn mind. <laughs> that is true. That is dry. Uh, had... Yeah. You got a lot of baggage too, Oscar. <laughs> That is true. I did have a love. I'm probably actually no, because here's the, the bad thing about me having a love hate. I'm probably not gonna have a love hate relationship with Carlo Ancelotti because I never saw his first stink. <laughs> so I, with Zinedine Zidane, I was like, maybe his maybe his first stint was good. Maybe he can make his second stint better. It wasn't. Granted, at the end of the day, it was all Florentino Perez that actually kind of screwed him over because. Sure, sure, whatever. You you want to talk about me contradicting myself? Guess what? You contradicted yourself almost every other video. Zinedine Zidane's terrible. Oh, I love him. <laughs> Florentino Perez is a clown. Probably shouldn't have called him clown. Okay, Make when did up when when mind. when did I when did I take back about calling him a clown? Literally this video. Go back. It was like a while back when we started discussing soccer. Discussing that controversy, you I probably shouldn't have called him a clown. You have actually mentioned it in a couple videos, and to me, over text. Okay. So don't, me personally, I probably said I shouldn't have called him a clown because I might get might get banned. That's what I said, or that's what I. Ah, no, no, no! But you still went back on your word. You went back on it. You went back. 
But I still okay, call him a cl- but me? I still call him a clown. But I still call him a clown. I called him a clown. But then yesterday. you go back on it. Then you go back on it. Oh, see? Uh-huh. Let me I have take to, a drink. I, I, I have to I have to rewatch my stuff to make sure so that I can discredit <laughs> everything you just said. <laughs> watch this video. It's it's in there. I did not did I what? You literally said I probably shouldn't have called him a clown. When? Um, it was either like kind of at the beginning of discussing like the, no, it wasn't. We're discussing the the replays and the overtime. It was probably like right around the controversy, right when it really got started. I'm gonna have to relook that because you're probably putting, <laughs> you're you're, pro- you're probably putting words in my mouth. Does it easy uh, that I agree with you with the the it easy that I, yeah, yeah like. At the end of the day, I actually had to like I had to actually like take back everything I said. I was uh, ha, ha, ha. Everything. I didn't take back everything. Okay? I took back like one, and that was where they would get to. But I didn't take back anything else because I was <laughs> right. Okay. No, you you said that you um, man, imagine if they made it to the finals and you're really gonna have to eat your words. Granted, uh, I think well, and, and I would gladly do it. I would gladly do it because they proved me wrong. But they actually proved me right. Now, I said granted, it would be they, over they, in five. They, granted, I said they, it would be over in five, and it went game six. That's true. So, granted, look, they I did better they, there, too. They, they would have gotten smacked by the – who won it? The Lightning? Yeah. Oh, no. They're, no matter – I don't care who got through. The Islanders could have gotten through. Minnesota could have gotten through. Colorado could have gotten through. And, and Tampa. Tampa, they keep arguing, oh, but he would, they went over the salary cap. It's unfair. I don't give a damn. They did what they had to to win. They really did. And so they ever got through, I don't care if it's the Knights or anybody else, your man, Capitals who suck at ass, they would have lost to Tampa. And they're back-to-back champions, right? That's what they I saw on ESPN. Back champion. Yeah, they, they're like back-to-back yeah. champions. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So it goes yeah, the, the Capitals. It, it goes, actually, it goes uh, uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins that Fleury was a part of, Marc-Andre Fleury. Washington Capitals in 2018, St. Louis Blues 2019, and then 2020 and 2021, uh, you had a, a Tampa Bay Lightning 2020, 2021. Ugh. Crazy. Man, Tampa Bay with their overhyped championships now. They, they, went, they, went out without, they went without a championship for forever. For, for like 20 years. And... Well, Canada hasn't done it since 1993, so. You know, look, they got there, and I'm glad they got their asses kicked because, man, Canada manhandled them. Although, you know what? I think game two or game three, that should have been Canada's game. They played like they wanted to be there, and Tampa didn't. But Tampa made up for it, and I'm glad they won. I thought it was going to be a sweep, but I, I was like, eh, they could win one sweep? game. But... Wasn't it a sweep? No. I thought it was. No, they won, I think, game three, and so they had to go to a game five, and that's where Canada went lights out. There was only one goal. And I don't remember who Ross, I think, scored it. And it was a game winner. And then last 15 seconds, it was just, that's over. Oh, taking back my word. You know what? Uh, Lesson learned. If I talk crap about it, I'm going to stick to it. (laughs) Oh, you know what? You you literally change your word more than I change diet. Do I even do diet plans? No. No, actually, someone that I will not take my word on is Eden Hazard. Okay. He will forever be known to me as Mr. Trashman. <laughs> is that the, that's the guy who was laughing with the other uh, with Chelsea, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And gets hurt. Okay. And gets hurt every like every game. Yeah, yeah, and then and then Chelsea loses. Chelsea actually. I think won. right. Chelsea won. But no, 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 no. But it was. That video where you said Eden Hazard, you can laugh now, or something like that. Oh no! It was yeah. after that. Real Madrid, like they, they drew that game, but Eden Hazard scored the tying goal somehow. Like technically, it wasn't his goal, but it kind of like, bounced, like deflected off of him. So like, I guess they countered it. So yeah, that's what happens, you know. Huh. Anyway. Anyway, bashing me on my channel. I think the bashing should stop. <laughs> you came after me first in what I said. 
I had to fire back. And you got so much material. It's awesome. Mark my words. I will not say, I will not take my word off of Eden Hazard. Oh! Oh my God. If, if, well, I don't think you'll do it to Eden. So I'll, I'll go there. Now, Gareth Bale, that's kind of a different situation because Carlo and Ch- funny enough, Gareth Bale, under, under Zinedine Zidane, Gareth Bale is trash. I don't know why. Like, I guess it's his, it was his attitude. But under Carlo and Cholotti, I'm expecting a lot from him because those that was actually Gareth Bale's like golden years. Like, yeah, he he was able to score like 15 to 20 goals per per season. It's not bad. That's a very high percentage. So it's very high. Now, if I if I but if he ends up like falling asleep on the bench, I'm I'm gonna be like, (laughs) yup. It's gonna sound like your videos. Oh, and then and then like he and then he like he falls he he falls asleep on his bench the one game and the next game he scores three goals and I'm like I love Gareth Bale. (laughs) I should play your content on my channel and be like you shouldn't watch this channel. He constantly takes back his word. It would be funny. Yeah, and, since, and it would get me more content views. It would be. Yeah, I know, but because of the because <laughs> did you know that on YouTube Studio there's a there's an option for you to either keep it as um in the I forgot what it's called, but like you can you either have the option of keeping it standard license or I think it's like common license or something like that. And if you set it at common license, then people can take. Whatever you say, freely. Dude, I can just literally do a screen recording or just trim your video. Oh, yeah. Like in a YouTube video converter. Oh, yeah, but then I'll come back and say, this guy used my stuff without, without um, consent. And there's no, and there's I no, will accredi- literally, there, there's no, don't, accredi- don't worry, Oscar. There, I will literally, no, and there's no accredited. I source. have my ways, Oscar. Oscar, no- I have my ways. You've mentioned me without my consent. You want to play that game? I will. But I didn't. Literally done it in over five I, videos. I you mentioned. I mentioned your name. Ah. I mentioned your name, but I never played any of your content. You're saying that you're no, gonna no, play no. My but content. that's still mentioning my name and my channel without my permission. I give okay. you credit. No, but you you still you still mention me. I could. But I, I give could you credit. That. I could Friend, flip that. I gave. I give you credit though. No, not not when I made that video uh, about you. How you were so freaking scared to make a bet. You, you guys who are watching this channel understand how scared this dude is. He's so frightened to make a bet against an idiot, blind, loudmouth YouTuber screaming into this microphone here. He can't even make a bet against me. A I dummy. made a bet against you and won. And I made one and against I declined you and too. Us. But and I, declined, I gave you another chance I to win. I literally and I said... Declined. I respectfully <laughs> declined the second time. What do I have to prove the second time that it wasn't it was a fluke? Oops, what was that? What was it? I don't know. But either way, I said, Oscar, you're gonna win this bet. And he's like, No, I'm too scared, man. And I played. He he literally sent me the video and allowed me to do it. I literally played the video when I was on his podcast the night before Thanksgiving. Yeah, but you gave me credit. You put my channel description. You put my stuff in the description. Yeah, I did, but I I also made fun of you because you're so scared to take a bet against me who loses most bets. It's it's it was it was amazing. Anyway, I, I don't want to humiliate you more on your channel. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> oh my god! We're gonna end the podcast here. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> this is the best one year celebration ever. True. Yeah, considering that uh, you only had me on for your thing for like thirty minutes, and I really couldn't say much. You had to stay on topic. What do you mean? It was like an hour and something. You know how long that took to edit? Wait, it was an hour. I thought it was like thirty minutes. No, not even close. It was like an hour and twenty-seven minutes or something like that. No, you're talking about the one that we did before then. I'm talking about like your one year. That one year thing was only 30 minutes. It was like 35 minutes. No. No. It was like an hour and something. I have the clip. It's like an hour and something. 
Jason, I could have sworn it was 30 something minutes or 40 minutes max. Is is that why not, there were like over are, eight clips? Are you is not that thinking, why there were over eight clips also? Are you not thinking are you are or are you thinking of the one hour and something minute clip that you and I did a long time ago? Uh, no, I know that was an hour, but I know the only, one cuz you only did cuz you posted all the clips. You showed me all the clips that you posted from from when I appeared for your one year. It was only three clips. And they were like, the max was like 20 minutes. And the rest were like either five or 10 minutes. Oh, it was four clips. It, 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 was, it was a little bit more because I, I just, here's the thing. I knew my family was coming, right? And my, my sister was like coming into the room while we were doing the podcast. And as soon as we'd hung up, my mom and sister started making more noise. And I was like, that would have been... Awful. <laughs> I'm double checking real fast how long each clip was. Oscar, you can check later. You're going to have to edit this out. Good point. Hold on. Meanwhile, let me talk. So here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Freaking boss revolution. I don't know what my mom did to my account. Somehow. She linked like somehow. So I went to go deposit her some money in her bank account. And now I'm getting all these notifications about boss, Re- Boston Revol- or boss revolution or something like that. I'm like, what the heck is this? Sometimes, you might sometimes want to I call think get that settled. Huh? You might want to call and get that settled. It's hers, not mine. It doesn't affect my account. No, but why she get the, got the notification sent to you, you might want to check that. That's true. Um, also, I'm catching up to Oscar and views, ladies and gentlemen. You said that like five times on this channel today. I just have to rub it in because you're letting me catch up. That should not be happening. You should be like a okay, thousand Jason, views ahead I have of a, me. I have a question. How many videos do you have? I don't know, like 600. You have 461 videos. But here's the videos. thing. It doesn't... You, have, you have 461 videos. <laughs> I have 350 videos. So you have 100 times but here's more the thing. videos than I do. So it's expected that you'll get but more you, views. But you... Wait, wait, hold on. But you... No, no, wait, hold on. You got like 800 views, 300 views, 600, 500... 200 on most of your videos. Okay, is it my majority fault? of them? Is it my fault that soccer sucks during the summertime? It's your fault for not coming up with better content. Oh! You're letting a loudmouth, blind YouTuber who talks about politics, technology, and sports, and all that, but mainly politics and technology that nobody wants to hear about catch up to you. How, Oscar? How? It is bothering me. Literally. Ah, oh, man. I'm going to do a video the moment I catch up. I swear to God. And I'm going <laughs> to... I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to stop humiliating you on your one-year that's, celebration. That's, that, that's, that's proof that you're a poor sport because I, I did not humiliate you when, when I surpassed you. I wasn't humiliated because I knew it would happen. I literally told Isaiah, my brother, I was like... This dude is going to surpass me. He was like, why? I'm like, because he does sports. I, if you gave me the choice and you said, Jason, you got to watch politics or sports, I'd watch sports in a heartbeat. So I knew that was going to happen. That's why I wasn't humiliated. But I'm, I, I'm crying for you because you're letting me catch up. Oscar, this should not be happening. Well, after like podcast, I said, we'll summertime to is going to suck for me because there's barely any content. Then create your own content. Oh, see, you're not original. I create my own. You don't. Do you, you, got, you got to wait for the news? I create my own content. No, but I have to wait to be accurate with the news to at least come up with actually like accurate, at least somewhat accurate rumors. You can't come up with your own commentary. Here's where I think the team is. Here's where they, here's where this, here's that. You can't do that. Jesus Christ. I could think of that's 10 only, videos for only, you right now. Like three or four videos and I, and I can do that all in one week. Okay, then do it. Do something. My God. Talk about Washington. Talk about talk about something. You're 
Oh my God. You know, I'm not going to humiliate you more on your one year celebration. You know, let's, you know, let's not do that. You know what, Jason? All I got to say is this upcoming week and next week, I'm probably, it's, well, I'm going to probably explode with content. Because, like I said, oh, Real, okay. Real Madrid is coming back with preseason. Washington has training camp coming up with their, um, with their training camp and their preseason. So I already have a lot of, I, I'm already picking up content. So, now my 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 low point with my with my months with, with the with the um, month of July coming to a close and August rolling around when fall sports matter. <laughs> you're not you're not surpassing me. Ah, oh, you want to make a bet? Come on, you do Why? not want to humiliate yourself on your channel. Why not, Oscar Montiel? Why not? All right, how about this? $20 Amazon gift card. If I surpass you, I'll pay you a $20. This time I'll make, because Amazon, I don't think will let me do a $19.99. So you're lucky ass bitch. What do you mean? And, 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 I don't and do, if I, I do I, surpass you. I don't do an Amazon gift card. So you're going to have to explain that to me. Uh, all right. Sweetwater has, has a website, right? Yes. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll get you a $20 Sweetwater Tavern uh, gift card. And then... If I win, because it's it'll happen. I have to give you. You get Amazon. me. Um. I mean, what are you gonna buy with Amazon? I you already got a mic. <laughs> I remember that that fund. If you would have won that bet, that twenty bucks would have gone to a mic. I could use another one. Um. Man. Actually, no. I'm gonna make it more difficult for you. I want a twenty dollar Apple gift card. Oh, you little punk. <laughs> Dude, you can literally go to the store and I like, grab it and it's right there. Oh, that's true. I used to I used to buy like um, I used to buy Apple but then, now, gift cards too. You're gonna have to give me the code over, over text so I can do it. We'll figure that out, but when I win. So then, <laughs> wow, I, I'm surprised you're taking this bet. I, you know what? I wanna play this clip in particular on my channel. Cause it's cause it's cause it's gift cards, so <laughs> <laughs> You're, well, you need a you need a freaking gift card for the way Naim eats. My God, he, I I was talking to him one oh, day and he no he I said, can't, dude no dude the the key with him is that you gotta cap him. Oh, I know. He literally said to me, I think it was an audio message or no, we were talking by phone. He literally said, "Yeah, I literally I spent two hundred dollars just on myself at Sweetwater Travel." I'm like, "What? How do you spend two hundred dollars on yourself?" Oh my God! So anyway, you're gonna need that if you're going out with him. Uh, no, I. So all right. I, no, I will, If I'm paying, I cap the dude. Like I cap. My, I'm like, <laughs> if you surpass, well, now like, you'll have a twenty dollar gift card I'll to help like, you out. I'd be like, I'd be like, you're gonna pay. Like if you go past twenty bucks, anything after that, you're paying. I'll gladly pay twenty dollars of your tab. But if you go more than that, then you're paying. And he's like, okay, it sounds good. Or what I do, even though I know that I will never leave, um, is take him to an uh, all-you-can-eat buffet. Uh, uh, I, made my yeah. mis- I made that mistake once. Dude, we barely left. And I kid you not, I had to, make, like, I had to take him kicking and screaming. We <laughs> CeCe's Pizza. C- do, do you guys have a CeCe's over there? Yeah, it's so good. I like their cinnamon buns. Yeah, I, I literally, I didn't like, I use that as a metaphor. I didn't take him like kicking and screaming, but like, so I don't know if I told you the story before. Um, so his phone that week, he dropped it in Greece. Yes, yes, yes. You told me that yeah, story. So, and so I thought it was funny. So, so he had, to, um, he didn't have a cell phone for like a week. Um, he didn't even have like a burner, like those burner phones yet. Because I think he left it um, back in his in his house, like, um, and all that good stuff. So then I was like, you know what? You know, I'll just order the Uber and all that other stuff. And he's like, sounds good. So since I'm the one with ordering the Ubers and Lyft and stuff like that, I'm already full. I eat, I ate my ten plates or whatever. I'm full. I'm good. Holy to go. mother of God! <laughs> this wow. dude. Okay. This dude ate fifteen plates. 
Whoa. He, he was not willing to leave. He's like, come on, man, eat one more plate. I'm like, bro, I'm already full, man. Like, I'm done. Like, I need to, because I also, like, my mom didn't pick, it was a Friday night. So I was trying to go home for the weekend, but my mom couldn't pick me up that, that Friday night. Cause usually I would go home Friday night, but I had to like, so I had to wake up early Saturday morning. I'm like, bro, I got to wake up tomorrow morning. Cause I got to go home. Like I, I like, um, like early morning, my mom's going to be here early morning. He's like, come on, man. No, I was like, all right, dude, you have one of two options. A you either stop eating, you drop your food right there, you, you <laughs> savor your last, you, you chew up the last thing that you have in your hand and go with me with the, in this Uber right now or you find your way home. And oh, by the way, you don't even have a phone to order your own Uber. <laughs> so then he had no choice. He was like, fine. So he literally like ate like his last slice of pizza. I don't, I can't remember if you left anything on that plate. I, think I don't did. think he would leave anything on that, but he probably put something in his pocket. I swear to God. I mean, pretty small pockets. Uh, listen, <laughs> Especially if, he, with dumpster, the, this, if he dumpster dough for Chinese rice, I wouldn't doubt that he did that. But he's a neat freak, though, Jason. When it comes to his clothes, he's a neat freak. That's true. I wonder, I wonder what matters more, his clothes or his food. I don't know. Probably his, probably the food because his clothes, he wouldn't know, he wouldn't notice if things were stained. Like, like, um, I don't like, he wouldn't, I don't think he would notice. Well, like, that's I, it. Yeah. Like I, I remember, I remember during his, so during his formal meal, uh, like his graduation meal, because you have to go all dressed up and everything. Um, like, people were saying, you're like, oh, Naeem, you know, you got, like, some orange powder stuck on your tie. And he's like, oh, seriously? And he's, I mean, they were like, yeah. He was, he was, like, freaking out. I was like, bro, calm down. It's just a tie. Yeah, but, you know, Naeem, freaking wearing suits at the house. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, he bet me $20. Now, I need to go decide. Do but I, I buy my charger? I have a question, though. What time frame are you going to give it? Well, it's the moment I surpass you. Any any moment. I don't really want to put a timestamp. So you mean to tell me that if it's two years, you're still going to be waging on this bet? Yeah, it won't be two years. <laughs> Watch it be two years. All right, all right, fine. By October. October? Yeah, because, I mean, we're pretty much already going to be in August, so That's it gives true. me like a month. But you got to remember... August, September, and October are my prime months. And they're mine too, so. <laughs> Mine's more than yours because that's when my sports things pick up, so. Yeah, but the, my Dodgers, I cover, uh, I like covering Dodger games in the fall for some reason, but that's when I cover Dodger games. Do you really think cover, those are going to make um, it to the playoffs? Come on, man. <laughs> You're saying that they suck. Their pitching situation. By the way, with that Trevor Bauer thing, they should have left him in there because they're in need of des- they're in desperate need to trade for pitchers. But anyway, as I was saying, I cover the Dodgers and the Golden Knights at shame time in the foul. Ooh wee! And politics. Wait, oh, mean- and I'm gonna be surpassing Oscar. Now, what should I spend my money on that he gives me? I don't know, but you don't cover that Apple Golden gift card is gonna be real nice. You don't you don't cover the Golden Knights during the fall, or are you? Yes, you, you but cover- I couldn't. Yeah, because you didn't cover the Golden Knights last fall. No, fact, because I couldn't keep I couldn't keep up with the games like this the schedule because it was all out of whack because of the pandemic. But I covered them from January and on, didn't I? That's true. That's right. I covered what fifty. And how many? And how many video? And how many views did you get those videos? One to like ten. Oh. How many views are you getting on some of your videos right now? Just three. Oh. Okay, James. Oh, okay, Oscar. Jason. But here's the thing. At least but no, wait, channel, wait. Some of them like got 50 up to and 20 down. views. My channel is up and down. Yours, when you do sports, the max that, aside from this, um, the, the Trevor Bauer stuff, the max that you have gotten in views is 15. No, it was 20. It was 20? Okay, yeah. I, knew it, I knew it was that number. Oscar, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> you're not going to get past 
eight views on that Florentino Perez video. And it's not oh, because you did I, I, I already know that. I already know that. I checked. Like, oh, no, but I like to rub it in your face. I, I checked two and hours Oscar, ago. you're I letting a political hours. channel pass you. How dare you? You're letting a politics channel pass you. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't even need to watch this channel anymore. If he's letting a political channel pass him. Oh, God. Come yeah. on. Should Shame I, on I, you, Austin. Shame you know, on you. No, no. Shame. You know, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to edit this so that I can make several clips. So that way it won't matter if I get three to five views. At least it's views nonetheless. So that way you'll never surpass me. In fact, depending on how long this thing is. <laughs> I may end up just making five-minute clips for each one so that I can make a point. Hey, the more, uh, you know, listen, I've learned the more you post, the less your viewers watch. I learned that the hard way because I was posting like a load for Naeem's and it was like so little that I was like, okay, you know what? I got to make the clips shorter and like just don't post as much. So listen, you want to do that? Go ahead. But you, I, the fact that I'm even catching up to you, whether I surpass you or not, is a shame, Oscar. It's so bad. I feel so bad for you. Now, let's stop humiliating Oscar on this one year celebration. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, let's, let's, let's end it here. Uh, follow, follow Jason on the... Oh, my God. Why do, we, why do I keep on thinking political podcast? No. Get the memo podcast. You see, that's how irrelevant your channel is. <laughs> That's how irrelevant your podcast is? Is that what you're talking about? That's how irrelevant your team is? That your own owner had to give it to his wife? That's how irrelevant your team is? That they were saying sell the team? Okay, I got you. That's how irrelevant your team is? That they sold $5 postseason tickets? Okay. Okay, it, first off, it was $5 regular season tickets, and that was two years ago. Okay, but but that's how irre- they're they're still irrelevant. They beat the Cowboys and they couldn't get to the playoffs. Are they you did me? make it to the playoffs. They didn't win in the playoffs, of but they made it to the playoffs. Oh, get, but they get, couldn't get, win. Get, get, get your facts. They straight. they couldn't win in the playoffs. Okay, you so you Dallas you, Cowboys. You, you expect you can't you ex- win. You expect them to win against uh, the cheater of Tom Brady, who who pouts oh. when he doesn't get his way. That yeah. is true. I the, love the refs. Him. The refs feel so bad for Brady when he passed. They're like, "All right, we gotta help this dude at least like once in the game." And, and that's he, why they're like, "Oh, it's a third down penalty." Like, what? Like, no, it's not a penalty. What are you doing? Right, but it's to help Brady. But someone needs to help your team because you guys are shitty. The fact that you beat the Cowboys, you get to the playoffs, and you can't win. Wow. Anyway, let me stop humiliating you. I want to congratulate you. On your on your one year, and it's not even humiliation, by the way, folks. It's just the the way that you know we have banter off 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 air anyway. He's lying to you. We do have this banter off air, but now it's real humiliation. He's letting a political channel catch up to him. Come on, Oscar. I don't, I don't see it. You as, didn't think. I, wait, wait, wait. You didn't think to post content and then schedule it, even if it, there was no news going on. At least to keep up your views. You didn't think, hmm, I'm going to be on vacation for a couple of days or maybe a couple of weeks. You didn't think to post content and schedule it out so it would actually post. I Jesus, didn't Oscar. have my microphone cord. Uh, I don't have my mic for all my videos and I still make videos. You're using excuses. Anyway, let me finish. Congratulating you. Congratulations. Bye, Jason. Your- Just congratulations. I will, not, on I, will, I, will, I will not let you have any more words. So thank you don't you want congratulations? For, thank, thank, thank you. You don't want congratulations. For, thank you all for for joining in. Um, if you dare, follow Jason <laughs> on the Get the Memo podcast. Let it help me surpass his views. And congratulations, Oscar. Let's make this a great year for your channel again. And you know, I'm excited for you to have some guests on, so I don't just have to hear you talk. I mean, I'm excited to have some guests on for you to have some guests on and. Uh, Congratulations, you've done really well with your channel, man. Thank you. Even though after watching a video, two minutes of your video, I'm like, what else? What else is? What else can I browse on YouTube? Oh! After.